Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get all of the images in a SharePoint folder into Excel with the image function. Let's take a look. In Excel, we can use the image function to return an image inside of a cell based on a public web address. So here we've got the URL for an image. And if we use the image function, then it's going to return that image inside of the cell. And it turns out we can do a similar thing for an image hosted in SharePoint. So all we need to do for that image in SharePoint is create a publicly accessible link to that image. So if we head over to our SharePoint folder here, we've got some images in the folder. And if we go to the options, then we can open the sharing options for that image. And here, if we go to the link settings, then we're gonna be able to choose who can use that link. And so what we wanna choose is anyone, and that way it's going to be a publicly accessible link that anyone can access. And if we press okay, then we can copy that link. And let's head over back into Excel, and I'm just gonna paste in that link. And now if we try the image function with this link, then it's actually going to return a value error right now. So it turns out we need to use a trick in order to get the image function to return our image with this link. So a shout out to Win from Access Analytics. I'll put a link to the original video for this in the description, but it turns out we need to add a parameter to our URL. So here we've got a question mark in our link and then we have E equals something. Basically, we just want to replace this parameter with download equals one. And then all of a sudden our image function is going to be able to return our image from our SharePoint folder. Now, if we've got a folder full of images that we want in our Excel workbook, then we're going to have to manually create these links for each of them and then use our image function with those links. And of course, we don't wanna do all of that manual work. So instead, what we're going to use is Power Automate to automatically generate all of these shared links for us and return them into Excel. Now, before we head over into Power Automate, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is create a table in order to place our links from Power Automate. And so this table is just gonna have two columns. One is gonna be called name, and this will eventually have the file name for our image. And the next one is gonna be called the URL. And now if we select these column headings and go up to the insert tab, we can create a table with this. And here we're gonna check this option. My table has headers and press okay. And now we've got a table object with those two columns. And we can come up to the table design tab and let's just quickly change the style for that table. And more importantly, we're gonna change the name from table one. And let's call this images and press enter. And now we've got a table called images. Next, we're gonna come over to make.powerautomate.com and we're gonna build our flow that's going to automatically create a shared link for all of our images in a folder in SharePoint and then place them in our Excel table. So we can create a new flow here in the menu if we click on create and we're gonna create an instant cloud flow. Now I've already got this flow built out so I'm gonna to go to my flows and cloud flows. And here's the flow, get share link to all images in a folder. And I'm gonna edit this and our flow is gonna be triggered with a manual trigger. And this way we can just click a button and activate it. And after our trigger, we're gonna use a SharePoint action here to get the files in a folder. And so here we just need to fill out where our SharePoint site is and the library in our SharePoint site where our images are gonna be located. And here we're also going to add in this filter query here so that it only returns images. So here we're gonna filter on the file type 
equals JPG. And if you don't see this field here, all you need to do is come up to the advanced parameters and check that option for filter query. And then within our SharePoint library, we're also going to choose the folder where our images are located. And so here it's in the SharePoint library called example in a folder called sample images. And then lastly here, we've got an option to include nested items. And so here I've chosen yes. And this is gonna mean that if we have folders within our folder, then it's also going to include any images in those subfolders. Next, we're gonna add a SharePoint action to create a sharing link for a file or folder. And again, we're gonna choose the exact same SharePoint site and the same SharePoint library. And then for our item ID here, we're going to add in dynamic content from our get files action. So here we're gonna add in the ID dynamic content. And when we do that, then Power Automate is going to add this for each loop action so that it loops through each of our IDs from our get files action. And here we're gonna choose the link type. So this is gonna be view and edit. And then after that, we're gonna choose the link scope. And here, this is the important one. So we have to choose anyone with the link, including anonymous. And now within our for each loop, we're gonna also add an add a row into a table action for Excel. And here we're gonna choose the location of our Excel document. So here, this is in this SharePoint site in a library called drafts. And then we're gonna choose our Excel file. And then once we choose our Excel file, we're also going to be able to choose the table in our Excel file. So here we're gonna choose the images table. And once we choose the table, then we're gonna be able to add dynamic content into each of the columns in our table. So here is our names column. And here we're gonna add dynamic content for the file name with extension from our get files action. And so we can find that down here somewhere. And we're also going to add in the sharing link from our create a sharing link action. And that's gonna be it for our Power Automate flow. So we can save that and head back. And now we're gonna be able to run this flow from our list of flows. So if you go to my flows, then we can click on the run button for this and run our flow. And let's head back to our Excel file and we should see this eventually populate with our shared links. So here are our shared links. And now let's create a another column here for our image function. And again, we're gonna use the image function. And if we just use this link as is, it's also going to give us that value error. So here, let's edit our formula and we're gonna concatenate onto the end question mark download equals one and press enter. And we're gonna get all of our images in our folder. So there you go. That's how you can get all the images from a SharePoint folder. So we can use the image function with a shared link and we can get all of the shared links automatically with Power Automate. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.